So this is just like the reality of life. You know, people are weird and crazy and do stuff. Hey, what's going on guys? Tom Davis here, America's Canine Educator. Welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube, guys. Today, we have a video with a dog named Bubbles. Sweetest name of all time, I know, trust me. Today, Bubbles is, is working on confidence building. Unfortunately, this dog was attacked several times in, his, in her past life with her past owner, but the, the new owner, she's doing so well with this dog, and we're just tweaking a couple little things on getting this dog more secure with her surroundings. So she's doing these types of things, guys. She's coming in the room, she's a little nervous, she's a little insecure. She's not, a, she's not demonstrating some of the things that we normally see with some of our insecure dogs barking running away reactive whatever she's just a little insecure so in this video guys step by step I'm gonna walk you through and the owner through how to develop a better relationship with this dog as well as build confidence in this dog so we had to go a little bit out of the box with bubbles guys because she's not that motivated by food she doesn't really care about tug toys that much and so we did a bunch of different things creatively to get this dog to a point where she's like gaining confidence I'm, af I'm afraid okay now I'm not afraid uh, and we do it multiple times in this video so it's a great video, I hope you like it. If you haven't yet, do not forget you guys, like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bells because we are doing a giveaway in this video, of course, just like any other video that we do. I hope you like it, let's get right into it. She's, she's insecure for sure, but she's also in a new place, so that's not unlikely. Um, but what we can do is we can work on uh, some confidence things to get her more comfortable uh, in new in new places and stuff. Because you can see she's kind of hesitant, she's, she's reclusive a bit, she's, She's withdrawing her presence from, from people. We're gonna, we're gonna create some exercises that you can start to do with her to get her more confident and comfortable into new environments. And then that way you'll have a better state of mind with her when you're introducing her to new things. So first thing I wanna do is just pop like one of our slip collars on. And then what I wanna do is I wanna go work outside with her a little bit um, to take her out of this like contained space to get her a little bit more comfortable and I'll start working her on the leash. Hi guys, so what I'm doing is, is I'm just taking her away from her owner um, just to see how she is. And again, um, you know, she's definitely insecure, so she's gonna be uh, a little bit more hesitant to be okay with me. Um, so I'm just pressure testing her right now as I'm just bringing her out to a new location with new pressures, um, so new cars, new environments, things like that, just to see how she does with me. Um, so she walks absolutely beautiful on the leash which is nice. Good job, baby girl. Come here, baby. Good. Good job, Bubbles. Good job. Good girl. All right, you guys, it's giveaway time as usual. It's gonna be letter by letter by letter individually in the comments below leave your dog's name and you automatically get entered to win a online session with me that's right a 30 minute online session with me no matter where you are in the world to talk about your dogs and anything that you want to work on ready set go good girl baby good job good so now she's sniffing me good so there's that pressure test i'm talking about guys as i'm moving Good job, baby. Good girl. And she's moving with me. So watch when I turn. Good. She follows me. So that's really good. Good job, Bubbles. I want to show you guys uh, how she's responding. So for me, her responsiveness to me is, is a respect thing, uh, which I really, really love. And so I'm moving forward, and I want you to pay attention to her her eyes and her body and how aware she is of me. So if I slow down and stop, she looks at me. Good baby. Good job. Good. So this is kind of like, hey man, you guide me, you tell me what you want me to do, which is which is great. So I'm gonna turn and see how this works. Oh, good job, baby girl. Good. And so I'm kind of guiding her through this process because she's insecure. Yeah, and so what I want to do is create like a realistic situation for you guys. So I'm basically going to recreate these stressful situations that you would normally deal with and walk you through the process as well as read her 
body language and her energy and her behavior to tell you what's happening as well as what to do when it happens. Sound good? Perfect. Now I'm just gonna add some distractions. Good. So then you take your, so take all of you, see how you're, yeah, there you go. Good, there you go. Cause you can just tell like right. your energy is like Focus on focused on her. Like right, cause realistically like I'm, like if I'm sitting down having a conversation with you, you wanna be more focused on me and not here. Cause once you're, cause your body language was here, your head was here. So just be as realistic as you can, but that's part of the process to make sure that you know how to do all of this in reality. Basically what you wanna do is create this confidence in you. So when she's going like this to you and you're like, if you're in charge and she's doing this and you're just sitting there chilling just like that, then she's gonna be less anxious because of the dog she is. Good, yep, and then just catch her each time. So see, so, so what's happening is, is that like me going around because dogs don't like, especially like insecure or fearful dogs, do not like anybody behind them. That's especially, why I the yes. To try to get her to like yes, well. exactly. I'm not going anywhere. Right. So now we're like going through the cycle of like, okay, this is what we need to be working on. Anyway. All right. Cool. So I'm gonna decrease the, um, I guess the the distraction by not going around. I'll just go like a half circle around you guys, and then um, let's see how she does. Good. So she thought about getting up there because she thought I was going behind you guys. Good. So this is just like the reality of life. You know, people are weird and crazy and do stuff. But at the same time, if your goal, well, there's two things. There's like a micro and a macro here is where we are gonna build confidence in these exercises, but it also is desensitizing her to like really intense stuff you know, like this type of stuff. <laughs> we're just taking things that she may be afraid of and then we're helping her get over those things. Good, all right, give her a break. That was good. Good. So that's a trigger for her. So do you, are you picking up what she's triggered by? Cause that was one of your goals. Mm -hmm. So what's, yes, exactly. Not being able to guard yes. what's going on. Or exactly. Going on. So she does, so, so in the future, again, realistically, like we know that one of her triggers is people going behind her. So if you said, I want to go here or whatever, whatever that is, you have to take into consideration, like, can I sit Somewhere on a wall where there's not gonna be people around her to make her more comfortable? So that's already something that we're figuring out. So that's good. So we're gonna do the place and then you're just gonna walk away, like go towards the gate and see how she does. Good. Place. Yep, so she's not comfortable with that. So we're gonna work on that. That's, but that's what I'm saying is like that confidence building thing is taking something that she's afraid of, that she's like, mm, nope, can't handle that. And we're just like getting her over that process. You've done really good, like a lot of really great work with her. Everything about you is like set up, like good. Like you could tell you've done your work, which is good. I'm trying, I just can't figure her out. That's my, yep. that's why I yep. was like, I can't be a good trainer unless I just figure it out. Yeah, and a lot of that is just honestly, it's coming down to um, getting, like if you have a dog and that's like, that's like one of the hardest things for a lot of dog trainers is getting a dog like this, where, especially if you're not, if you're not necessarily dealing with a lot of behavior modification, where you're dealing, nice. good. You're dealing good with a, uh, you're dealing with a dog that like, you, you have to go outside of your, your box and your normalcy of like what you're doing in order to gain gain ground. And this is the trigger. She can't handle this trigger, but we need to get her over this trigger because it's something she's afraid of, right? So let's move that closer and then have you work over this trigger. Good. Good. 
So that's like step one, did good. Okay. That jingle, now just open it, walk towards her as you open it. Yep, perfect. And then let the gate slide and then face her and then walk backwards. Oh. Sorry, I was trying to get it. Now just walk backwards. Perfect. Now stop, see how she, see her body? So go towards her, reward her like good place and then break her. Perfect, that was awesome. Well, well done, well done. Yep, that was really good. As soon as you start see that like sloppy, like, okay, this is gonna get slippery here. Then you just, you set her up for success by stopping the, the program, if you will. And then on your terms, break her. So whenever you're doing like this type of obedience with her to build confidence, if you see her do that, perfect, exactly. You saw it, we saw it, you're like, okay, this, yep. And then you just go to her and you break her before she breaks. So setting her up for success. That was wonderful. Let's do that one more time so you get a good feel for how to do it. See, that's better, right? She didn't have that like jumpy hesitation stuff. Good, now give her a break. That was really, really good. All right, you guys, that's a wrap for today. I hope you liked it. Sincerely, I do. If you haven't yet, do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, of course, and I will talk to you next time. Peace. Crazy like she Britney, but no, she don't shade the knock. No, no. Russell Wilson, way I get long, stay in the pocket. I get paid and do my dance like a touchdown. Yeah, I can't do no time to leave that gun around.